Hey everyone, it is Mo in the Deep End, live and unfeathered on the internet. Pray for us now at the hour of my interface. And I just, I bet you are just wondering and trying to ponder what a walking deer attack is, A, <laughs> and how this has anything to do with how I plan to run my channel or hope to run my channel, you know, Mr. Mo uh, teaching me how to WeberNet and all the other things. He got me this lovely um, video editing software that I really hope I don't have to bribe a local teenage person that knows about tech with hot pockets and brownies to be able to understand. Uh, Mr. Mo always, Mr. Mo is always so optimistic that I am going to understand and learn tech easily. I am more realistic and realize that this is like talking Greek to me. I So a walking deer attack, I know you are just, what in the world? Well, about August of last year, I had seen some vacation pictures and it was a lovely vacation, no children. I had not had one in 14 years. It was amazing. But I did see some photographs from that particular vacation and I was motivated to start walking and stop retaining cookies or the COVID-30 or what have you. And I started walking early in the morning because if you are a mom, you walk early in the morning. You do, you either work out early in the morning or not at all. Because if you try to do it later in the day, someone's always asking you for a cheese stick or where a snack pack is and no respect for the fact that you're already on a treadmill <laughs> trying not to die. So that is definitely one of the things that, you know, was definitely a motivator. It was getting up early and listening to a trial, you know, and then walking around my neighborhood. It's a good about three mile circuit with really, really good hills. In fact, there's one that my husband and I call Murder Hill because swear to goodness, the incline's like this. And it feels much steeper if you have to push a cart with your seven-year-old in it because he is nearly feral and you just cannot leave him alone. <laughs> anyway, I was out one misty, dark kind of morning and I was just paying attention to my one earbud. And right as that curve comes into Murder Hill, a deer kind of came out of the woods, startled the ever living out of me, and I fell into a drainage ditch and started laughing hysterically because only I, even at that moment when I was in pain and hurt, was thinking, dear Lord, only I would get a, a drive, a walking drive by deer attack. Only me. <laughs> Now, I do live in rural Indiana and going to the urgent care, finding out my bone was broken, I was told that I was their first walking drive by deer attack or just deer attack in general. And I call BS because I do live in rural Indiana and I do believe that the deer are out to get me. <laughs> I believe that was the same deer that had kept looking at me the entire time I was walking. <laughs> But the big thing, the big change was that I had to sit my behind down and I couldn't move all around. Mr. Mo was very adamant, you know, put your foot up, don't move, you know, just relax. Now, I don't know if anyone in your adult life has ever told you to relax and it helped, but I am beyond type A and a little bit ADHD and I know the amount of laundry that I am currently avoiding just from backup of one day so I was very very worried about sitting down and not getting this stuff done so I went deep into law tour like just devouring trials. Uh, let's see, Johnny Depp, Daryl Brooks, any trials, you know, smaller trials, just it kept me going and it kept me out of my head. And I would cross stitch while doing it. My, let me see if I can get it. My lovely Mr. Mo uh, made a platform with my current project. 
where I could put a pillow and raise my, hopefully I didn't get you guys seasick, and you know, put pillows up and raise my foot. And we kind of muddled our way through, but I was still having a lot of pain and, you know, swelling and just, it didn't feel right. But you know, you're a mom, you just, you just push through. It just is what it is. So I'll show you a bunch of the things that I was able to get done during this year. Uh, so here, and you'll notice a theme. And yes, I'm nearly 40. I love Sailor Moon. So here is one of the first projects I did. Wall booted. I call it low jaxed, but I know that's... And then there's the next project. And then here. And there. I will get so much better in my uh, camera-ing, I promise. It just might take me a little bit longer than anyone that can function well with a computer. Now, Mr. Mo is supposed to be helping me frame all of these. Uh, he doesn't realize that the Sailor Moon master bedroom is happening. But I had to pick whether I wanted my mobile Mo unit to become a stationary Mo office or if I wanted to get all of these framed. And I picked, this is the last one that I've done. I picked going ahead and getting an office so I could have my own space where someone isn't coming in and out and I can have a little bit of quiet time. Now, what, so as I'm doing this, as I'm doing all the projects, listening to the trials, kind of getting back into everyday lives, testing, you know, if I can walk without the boot and, you know, heal up, you know, winter into, or fall into winter, you know, I'm, limping along quite literally struggling but i got out of the boot and you know did the full six to eight weeks figured okay i am just a little bit fluffy a little bit you know out of shape i'm getting back to working out you're supposed to be sore and dr google says you know hey it can take up to you a year for your foot to stop swelling or your ankle to stop swelling when you break it so i just pushed through because I am God's most stubborn child <laughs> and I must be almost brought lame before I will go back to a doctor. So that actually happened. Around Martin Luther King Day, Mr. Mo had had enough of me hobbling, me, you know, my ankle swelling and turning purple. You know, he was just a little bit done with my desire to never want to see a doctor again. <laughs> So he hogtied me almost, took me to the doctor, and they realized that my bone had never healed. Now, hard truth time. I may not have been the most compliant rester. I have no chill <laughs> in me. So this, having any sort of limits on me physically as to what I could do and where I could walk, and different things were, it's still a very big change for me. It's still something that I am deeply struggling with. Uh, so I go back to the orthopedic surgeon and I did not realize that most surgeons were semi-autistic. So he just said, look, it doesn't look like a surgical thing. I'm sending you to a, a physiatrist. And I was really kind of bummed and emotional because when you're in pain, when you know that something's wrong and you're me and you've finally gone to a doctor, you're hoping to get all the answers now, every single answer. Um, so if I have any advice to give, it is that you might not get all the answers your first time. So I go to the physiatrist and I don't have the hallmarks of anything. I take in a diagram because Hello, I tend to ramble onto nebulas of thought and my mother kindly reminded me that most doctors only have about 10 minutes to see you. So I had a diagram. 
you know, and everything ready. Um, and so the physiatrist sent me to get a three um, phase nuclear uh, bone scan. I'm sure health people will completely understand what this is. They inject you with, uh, you know, some radioactive stuff. I did not get any superpowers. I was very upset. I mean, what are you going to do? But it came back as uh, me having complex regional pain syndrome. And um, I found this out about February. And I learned painfully and quite quickly that rain and cold are big triggers uh, to the point where on really bad days, I just lay in my giant uh, human dog bed that you've seen advertised on Facebook. Uh, Facebook gets me every time. 3 a.m. me thinks that uh, sparkly uh, roller skates, now this was pre-broken -bro ankle, but 3 a.m. me thinks that roller derby might be a great way to lose weight, somewhat forgetting that we haven't skated in beyond years. Okay, 20, almost 20 years, but definitely sparkly light up roller skates are the need that we have at 3 a.m. And I got the light, the large uh, dog bed, the human dog bed, you know, we had a rebate from doing one of the air conditionings and Mr. Mo said, you go spend it. And I spent it on one of those large dog beds. So on really bad days, I would not even be able to cross stitch. Um, I would just be laying in my dog bed and on a heating pad and just listening to the trials to get anywhere but where I was stuck in my body, in the pain. Um, with complex regional pain syndrome, basically my nervous system went into full on Maria mode. Uh, it just spazzed out, not really protection, other than like pain is supposed to be a deterrent from doing something stupid. Oh, and there's a bender in the background. That was the orange cat. <laughs> but you know, like if you put your hand on the stove, your nervous system is going to tell you to get your hand off the stove because it hurts. Well, it, it's a really weird sort of orphan disease that not many people understand and I went from having zero medicines that I took other than a multivitamin and sometimes you know whatever miracle pill that's supposed to make you lose weight but you can still eat a loaf of bread. I'm learning to eat healthily but um, I went from zero medication to just all of the medication and finding a small sort of channel well, a couple small different channels, uh, MLS Law Show, their chat is incredible and it just got me through a lot of hard days. And uh, Beefy has anxiety. He's this little um, animated squirrel avatar that makes fun of Daryl Brooks. And if you've ever had, you know, the unfortunates to be married to or in a relationship with someone kind of like Daryl Brooks, Watching hours of him getting repeatedly made fun of is so therapeutic. I Look, it's my go-to. Bad day, we make fun of Daryl Brooks with uh, Beefy Has Anxiety. But uh, the chat for MLS Law, Law Show, I swear to goodness, I will get better. I will. Uh, really encouraged me and I broke down a bunch of things uh, in notes and they encouraged me to make my own video. So I kind of hope that my channel will be in theory. This is in theory after Mr. Mo shows me the wonderful editing stuff that he got that I think reads in Chinese. Um, what I want to do is be able to do reactions to clips with one camera on my crochet project that I'm working on and then the other one catching me so all of my moisms can come out. And maybe a place where I can talk a little bit about my complex regional pain syndrome. And I'm going to be really kind of honest here. This has been um, 
the year of my personal growth kind of uh, against my own will. <laughs> Not really. I, I did go into this year with personal growth and doing the hard things being my motto. I just didn't realize that uh, 2023 was going to kick me in the tit so hard. <laughs> I figured I would deal with, you know, some of my unnamed box o trauma that, you know, I hide under dark humor. And uh, life decided you're going to deal with that in January. And then in February, you are going to learn that you have a fairly complicated diagnosis and you're going to have to deal with a good deal of pain, even on a good day. So it has been super hard. And having to make these videos, not having to, but just making these videos, you know, being accountable to my 42 awesome subscribers and whoever decides to subscribe, or just to myself, getting up, doing my hair, doing my makeup, these have been things that really have been very hard for the last couple of months. But this has given me brand new inspiration and motivation. So hopefully you guys will enjoy me. I'm planning, I am going to be doing very good learningness, <laughs> focused non-ADHD learningness uh, to try to get those uh, clip and crochet so basically what the um, videos in my mind are called is cross stitch, court, and chaos. And hopefully I'll be able to get those up. But I did want to kind of give you what this whole channel is going to be about. And hopefully not in a pretentious way, uh, in an open way that I am still learning. I am learning all the things. I am an unashamed Sailor Moon just addict. And Mr. Mo has to stop me from spending everyone's fun money on it. But I just kind of wanted to give a brief overview about what this trial is about, what I plan to do, or trial, what this channel is about, what I hope to do, and kind of just give myself my own goals. Because if I put it in a video, then I feel obligated to do it. And just really take a minute to say thank you um, to the people that have subscribed because whether you guys realize it or not, you are giving me the motivation to come back to the person that I was before I got sucked into my diagnosis. And I am waking back up to me being Mo, not me being patient with complex regional pain syndrome and what all that means. So thank you so much. I hope that you continue to enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you later because I am getting ready to start uh, breaking down the many multiple personalities slash Twilight if it was written by M, M. Night Shyamalama's. Uh, just tease entire alts. Um, I'm going to be breaking down that particular interview with the lovely Scottish um, doctor and hopefully giving kind of a character overview of what all of these alts are and then getting ready to try to figure out a live stream. So thank you all so much. I know this is getting to be about 19 minutes, so I am going to stop and hope you have a lovely day, you guys.